Wonderful to see so many of you here this evening. Good evening. Uh, I'm Richard Moorcroft. I am delighted to be back here at historic Juniper Hall to host this event tonight and, of course, the warmest of welcomes to all of you to this, the opening of the 2019 Doug Moran National Portrait Prize exhibition. And firstly, and importantly, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we are meeting tonight, the Aora people of the Gadigal Nation, and pay my respects to their elders past and present. Now, the Doug Moran National Portrait Prize is one of Australia's most prestigious art awards, and it remains the country's richest art prize. The winner? receives $150,000 and each one of the finalists hung in the exhibition receives $1,000. And this year the, the judges of the Doug Moran National Portrait Prize are artist Nigel Milsom who won the prize in 2013 for his portrait Uncle Paddy, Kelly Galatley the director of the Ian Potter Museum of Art at the University of Melbourne, and Peter Moran, managing director of the Moran Healthcare Group. And of course, uh, Peter's parents, Greta and Doug Moran, and I'd like to acknowledge and welcome Greta here tonight. Uh, they, thank you. Uh, they established the Moran Arts Foundation in 1988 for Australia's bicentenary with the Doug Moran National Portrait Prize being joined then in 2007 by the Moran Contemporary Photographic Prize. So great support for the visual arts. And now it is indeed a pleasure to welcome the CEO of the Moran Arts Foundation and the Managing Director of the Moran Healthcare Group and also of course, as you've heard tonight, one of our judges, Peter Moran. Thank you, Richard. Um, hello, everyone. I'd like to welcome you all here this evening um, to this very exciting event. Um, I'd like to also welcome the Moran Arts Foundation Chairman, Mr. Brian Inder. Welcome, Brian. Thank you for attending. Um, and also to thank our judges personally, Kelly, Nigel, thank you. Um, and also thank our people behind the scenes, uh, namely uh, Mel, who's had the lion's share of work for this event, um, Anne, um, Anita, and also um, Jenny. So thank you to you four ladies. It's very, very, very much appreciated. Um, our family, um, continues to enjoy supporting the arts in Australia through the Moran Prizes and the free school photographic, photographic workshops. Um, these, we feel, are important for educating school children right across the country. Um, the exhibition that you see here today opens to the public tomorrow and runs through to December um, before Christmas. Uh, we are delighted that some of our finalists have attended this evening. Um, it's no mean feat to become a finalist. Uh, we've had uh, close to a thousand works and narrowing that down to 30 paintings is a challenge for all us three judges. Um, I would like to now hand back to Richard who will continue with things. Thank you. Thank you very much, Peter. Yes, as Peter mentioned, uh, we would like to extend a, a particularly warm welcome to 
all the finalist artists who are here tonight, but to the many artists who are here for this special occasion. So uh, a very warm welcome to such a creative group. Um, and also it was great to hear from Peter uh, about the tremendous support given to the creative talent of young Australians across the country, um, in the photographic areas in particular, but their whole creative spirit is certainly well supported by this foundation. Uh, now, this year, Nigel Milsom, Kelly Galatley and Peter Moran had to consider, as Peter was saying, close to 1,000 artworks and they then narrowed that field down to 139 semi-finalists and then to the 30 finalists that you see here tonight. That's a, a very challenging task indeed and um, presumably one that was filled with all manner of lively debates and discussions. However, decisions have been made, as you know, and now to share a little of the process of their deliberations, I would like to welcome to the stage two of our judges, Kelly Galatley and Nigel Milsom. Please welcome them. Nigel and I are going to tag team, so I thought I'd kick off. I'd also just like to congratulate all of the shortlisted artists tonight. Um, it really is a monumental achievement to get to this stage. It took us the good part of a day to uh, shortlist down from the, I think it was from memory, 139 works down to the 30 here. And I'd also like to pay tribute to the Moran Foundation for an extraordinarily well-organised process, which is something that you don't see when you enter these prizes, but it really shows their commitment to the artists. It makes it much easier for the judges. We can just focus on the work. And importantly, as part of the process to get down to the 30 works that you see here tonight, we actually had the great privilege and joy of shortlisting from those works in the flesh. So you actually just can't um, get anything better than looking at a work um, in reality. They're, so we shortlisted initially from reproductions, but when it came down to the works you see on the walls tonight, we actually selected these works from the 139 works um, altogether. So it enabled us to, of course, think about all of those things that you can potentially lose in reproduction, slippages of scale, the texture of paint applied to canvas, uh, the way in which um, a composition may come together or potentially fall away. And importantly, in terms of portraiture, that kind of, and it's something that we came back to time and time again, and it's true of all of the works hanging here tonight, that kind of um, intangible frisson between the subject and the artist. And I should say thank you to all of the subjects who have so bravely turned up tonight and who have given themselves um, to this um, important relationship with the artist because it is, it, I, it can be a challenging one, and it's one based on trust and a mutual respect for two different, you know, often two different types of artistic practice. Um, but for us, the works that are here tonight um, captured the best of that. They're both a likeness of the subject, but it's not just about a photographic likeness. It's about that somehow intangible mix that draws you back to the work time and time again. And I'll now hand over to Nigel and he'll speak a little bit about um, the winning work. Thank you. Well, yeah. <clears throat> um, thank you. Uh, firstly, I'd like to thank Peter and Greta Moran, um, basically for their energy and commitment. Sorry for reading in this paper, but from, yeah, for their energy and um, commitment to seeing that this art prize that was sort of based um, on Doug Moran's passion for supporting art in the country, um, continue. Like what I was completely surprised about was um, how their passion um, and their ability, and or and their patience, like throughout the as a judge, throughout the, that was shown throughout the whole process of. Um, getting down to the last 30 was completely beyond like anything I'd ever sort of experienced in the art world before. They 
gave Kelly and I complete um, sort of freedom. Uh, there was never any pressure to jump in and, and, and choose anything sort of on a whim. And I feel that that makes the, dis the, 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 the paintings that are in the show sort of more, I mean, yeah, important because, I mean, when you're under pressure to put a prize together, you know, it can be a, da a dawning experience from what I've seen. Um, but anyway, it was, I'd like to just say thank you to Peter and Greta for a really having the faith in art to come to the fore. That's un it's unusual in this day and age. Um, so, yeah, thank you. Um, I'd also like to um, thank all the artists that entered this year. You know, it, it was an honour for me to have the opportunity to see the, like, 995 works or whatever it was that were entered. Um, Every single entry was a pleasure to view. Um, and although a vast amount of these paintings had to be omit omitted because of the small amount that were needed for the show, um, yeah, I would encourage all those artists to continue doing what they do and, if anything, push harder and, uh, because you never know what the future holds. Um, I guess the question when you're a judge or when you're asked to judge a prize is, or a portrait prize, when by default you kind of looked at as a portrait painter, um, is what makes a, a, a great portrait, which is a sort of a, a mystery. But anyway, like personally, um, I guess it's a subjective response to the painting simply because um, we all have our own individual way of seeing things based on our own experience um, and I think that's something that is precious and that we need to hold on to and, and, and keep working with um, you know and, and I guess uh, one of the things that makes th and I guess that's one of the things that makes viewing art and engaging with it really important. Um, but personally, I think the best portraits initially, for me, as a painter, they have the tendency to drive you away, um, bring you back to view them and push you back again. But I guess ultimately, and I guess this is probably across the board, a good painting will bring you back. Um, And I kind of feel that the, the winner, that's, that's pretty much what it did. Um, and that's, yeah, I mean, to put things simply, that's why it was chosen, because we had a lot of time to, yeah, spend with the work, but the painting by what was pretty much the work that kept drawing Kelly and I back to it. And so it was sort of anonymous that that was worthy of the of the of the award um, so yeah congratulations what and hopefully yeah you, you deserve it um, so yeah I mean wherever you are if you want to come up and accept the check you're welcome if not I'll put it in my pocket and I'll I'll, I'll, I'll enter the building Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you to Peter and Greta. It's, um, it's pretty extraordinary. They didn't call me this morning, which um, 
was alarming when I was announced. Uh, <laughs> I advise you to call people in the future. <laughs> uh, Robert Forster, he, he called me this evening and he's delighted he's in Brisbane and heading off to an American tour. And he said, yeah, people are calling me and they want to speak with me. <laughs> What's happened? So, um, yeah, I, I advise you to all go home and listen to your go-betweens records and um, get back to the 80s. Thank you. Well, congratulations to what? As he walks away, another round of applause from us. Extraordinary painting. And I will certainly be going home and digging up my extensive go-betweens collection <laughs> and enjoying every track. Anyway, a great portrait. Thank you, of course, also to Kelly and Nigel for uh, their words as well. And one duty remains, and that is uh, on behalf of the Moran Arts Foundation, it's now my pleasure officially to open the 2019 Doug Moran National Portrait Prize exhibition. And this exhibition will be open to the public tomorrow morning. It'll be open then through until the beginning of December. So please uh, do encourage your friends, family and colleagues to come along and have a look and be pushed away by a painting and then pulled back by a painting and then pushed away and pulled back and you'll spend a very, very interesting time in front of many, many works there. So an extraordinary result, an extraordinary group of paintings, a wonderful group of artists here tonight, and a great institution. Thank you for being part of it. Thank you. So please enjoy the rest of your evening, wonderful hospitality on this fabulous Sydney evening. Thank you. <laughs>